In my first forays out to Sedgwick were in the late 80s, and it was a pretty sleepy place then. I was the faculty manager from 1990 to 2000 over the transition from being a UC property to a UC natural reserve in 1997. So lots of changes. It went from being a sleepy, kind of a slow cattle ranch to becoming a UC reserve. And then once it became part of the reserve system, then I saw, okay, now we have this beautiful reserve that's protected in perpetuity. It's used for research, it's used for education, it's used for you know, public access and enjoyment. And to know that it's gonna be there forever, and I've gone up many times since it's been a reserve, and I've been really impressed with the research, with the restoration um, that's happening up there. Um, I like the way the university um, uses interns and you know, other students, not just from UC Santa Barbara, but from other places as well. So they really make the reserve accessible and um, we're teaching the stewards of the future. I feel really privileged to be spending as much time as I do here. And it's been fun to watch it evolve as a place that is both a community center where just wonderful people get together. So I love uh, working with the people out here, but also a place where we're starting to really meet society's needs for relevant environmental change data and relative, relatively sophisticated understanding of how our environments are changing in terms of fire, climate, human impacts, and invasive species. So for me, I just see Sedgwick taking that next step into really kind of on the world stage of uh, biological field stations. I think one of the um, other trends that you see here is uh, trying to be more inclusive in the uh, reserve, who our community is, who we are working with and so forth. And I will give one example as we start to build in a lot of fire research here, prescribed fire research. A group we're really working closely with and reaching out to is the San Ynez Band of the Chumash Tribe. And so that kind of broadening our engagement with a, a bigger and more inclusive community is a really special uh, thing that I'm looking forward to here at Sedgwick. So the docents and volunteers are basically the backbone of the reserve. We're all striving towards the common goal of getting more school groups out, getting more more researchers out and having and really sharing this place because I feel so lucky that I get to be out here and learn from Sedgwick every day. I learn something new every day. Um, but I'm mostly excited to see other people get to do that as well. I feel so grateful for how far Sedgwick's come in these last 25 years. Even in the three years that I've been here, I've seen it grow and evolve into something more beautiful. I've seen people just so happy to be out here and getting to experience it. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the future. Well, happy anniversary, Ms. Sedgwick. 25 years is utterly amazing and it's gone so fast, I'm sure, for everybody. Uh, again, I feel a special requirement to uh, do what I can to help celebrate your anniversary because the prior owner to my ranch is the individual who wrote the last check 25 years ago that made Sedgwick the reserve that it is today. So uh, there's a certain legacy there that uh, we feel responsible for, and we couldn't be more pleased to be right next to the Sedgwick Reserve. Happy anniversary.